Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli on FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to my supporters. If you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. All the links are below and above. And try to support this channel through Patreon. Much appreciated. Today we're going to talk about Kia. Kia, Kia slash Hyundai make great cars. I drove all of them, set in all of them. Bought the Kia a Soul EV, the uh, EV6, the Ionic 5, the Ionic 6. I mean, they are great, great cars. They are number four uh, in the United States in, um, in, in, in sales, topping GM and Ford, not surprising. They make great car cars all over the world, by the way. They are very, very popular. They make good, good cars. Very, the most aerodynamic cars that you can buy, especially the EV6. Both the Kia and the Hyundai, amazing, amazing cars. Now, there is a report that in Korea, but I think it's going to come to the United States if it didn't yet, uh, of a huge recall, 170,000 uh, a, a Hyundai slash Kia cars. Most of them are Hyundais, the uh, Ionic 5, Ionic 6, um, a GV 60, 70, 80, uh, all Genesis, all of their electric components, all are uh, going to be recalled because of a sudden loss loss of power it's called the integrated charging control unit the iccu that basically basic can technically you drive and the power is gone it shuts and it's gone now this is not new this has happened in the united states i think two years ago last year there was a nitsa investigation and now this is looks like a worldwide issue now this is not a new issue for Hyundai slash Kia and not a new issue for others. It happened, I think, in GM as well. Or it is actually happening for GM as well. Uh, what What is the solution? The solution is a software update. Now, here is when it got, becomes tricky. Now, I do not like to call, to use the word recall when it comes to Tesla cars because 99% of the recalls are done so over the air software update. I mean, of course, it's big news and FUD and all that stuff. That we know, we got used to that. But what I'm saying is that uh, when it comes to any other car manufacturers, not all of them can do over the air software. Even though it, even though it is a software update, sometimes you have to take the car physically to the uh, service center and they do it for you there. That I know, that I know for sure. So I don't know if it's gonna come to the United States if you own a Hyundai slash Kia cars, expect, if you, first of all, if you experienced it immediately, call your service center and take it for uh, for service and they will do what they need to do. You don't have to get new components, but maybe you do. From what I read, maybe in certain cases you do something with the, basically it's the heart and soul of the of the integrated charging uh, part. So that, that happened. That, something like this happened to me in my Model Y, but that's with the charging. I won't be able to charge the car. This is, it loses power. It just doesn't, re doesn't react to you at all. So that is could be really dangerous, especially if you drive on the highway. So if you have one, if you live in the United States and have one, have a, a Hyundai car uh, or a Kia car, expect a recall. Look, expect a recall soon. If you are around the world, this is going on right now. I Like I said, most of them are Hyundai car, okay? The Hyundai's one, they are the ones, the Ionic 5, 6 and all that, they are the ones who are being recalled the most. All right, thank you guys for this update and I'll keep updating you if things uh, uh, develop. Thank you and I'll see you tomorrow.